Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I just came back from a beautiful place called Pennsylvania. You guys have seen my other video, and you guys know I just came back home. Literally just came home. Basically, I showed you guys that I got a beautiful jacket. If you guys did not see that video of me showing you guys my jacket and telling you guys a bit about my adventure, go check it out right now. It could be right here. It could be right here. Right here. Right. <laughs> it's hard to control. Anyway, so basically, I was gonna tell you about the ice cream store. The ice cream store was amazing. Of course, we didn't try out the. We didn't try out the chocolate. Oh, the chocolate. We didn't try out the ice cream there. But it's like something ice cream. It was kind of cool. But there's literally a real bullet or cannonball from the war. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, yeah. So yeah, there was actually um that. It was really cool. Also, I forgot to tell you a bit about yesterday, last night at dinner. I don't think you guys. I think you guys remember. Yeah, you guys. No, yeah, okay. Anyway, so on our second day, we went a bit shopping, and this is actually what I got yesterday. A diamond. I'm not very sure if it's real. I'm not gonna buy a real three hundred dollar diamond tester. I also got another one. Hold on. There's some stuff in here. Why not so much? Um. Ooh. Anyway, I got this, this rose, this is just not a stone, I have not opened it yet. I got chapstick from yesterday, kind of melty. Mm. That's so good, orange cream it's called. Anyway, so yeah, I had a very fun time, it was really fun there. But now, guys, I think it's time I show you guys what else I got. So, on the second day, of course, that's when we also got a tour and the ghost tour, which is so much fun. Also, we kind of got confused and we almost actually missed it because we were confused. Anyway, and our also our tour guide, I think, Marcus. Yeah, Marcus. Marcus, if you're watching this, you're well, you were the funniest person, the funniest person I had as a my ghost tourist. Yeah. Also, there's this one house that's by Mr. G's ice cream. If you guys live in the town of uh, of Getty of Gettysburg, then you probably probably you probably know what Mr. G's ice cream is. But there's these, there's a house, and there's like two floors, and on the left, because there's three windows. If you go onto the very left, there was a room, and there's a little boy named Jeremy that died by a wagon thing, and if you stay in his room. For like because it's a hotel a bed and breakfast i think hotel i'm i'm i don't know anyway um then sometimes it's not often so if you stay in jeremy's room a six-year-old little boy if you stay in jeremy's room don't be surprised if you don't get um a message from uh his playing old playing time thing he has like old-fashioned blocks anyway that have letters so don't be surprised if he doesn't spell anything to you. But if you, you sometimes people are lucky enough to get a word, and the only word he usually spells for you is wagon, and that gives you triggered and like seriously, what? Honestly, it kind of spooked me because one, he literally died by a wagon. Yeah, and he spells wagon. So literally last night when we are, yeah, last night, so basically last night when we were about to go, yesterday we get it to, you know, have Mr. G's ice cream, which was honestly quite good. It kind of was worth the wait, kind of. There was a long line. It went almost all the way down the road. It was a busy place. And yeah, we also met this guy and he said he's soft. And he, he like, I don't know if it was a girl or boy, but it was just so soft. It was just amazing. Also, I met a dog today. It was a husky. And for most of you guys, this is actually a fact because I don't really announce this a lot. I like huskies. I love them. I 
adore them. Anyway, so basically, yeah, I've been having a great time. And then yesterday, of course, I told you guys in my last video, I went swimming yesterday. My hands kind of smell like Coraline, which is great because I love Coraline. Wait. Hmm. I want to keep the scent in my hair of Coraline. Coraline. Love it. Anyway, so I'm going to show you what I got on the second day of when we went shopping and had our toys. I got the bath bombs. Um, these are only three. I got one more, which has an actual surprise. It's a puppy inside. Puppy. And the lady was so nice. Like, so nice. And I'm like, I, I like that. Also got a soap. My mom wanted me to get a soap. Ooh, kind of, kind of jelly. Eee, don't want to ruin it. See, I love sea life. And so, why not get some sea life? They didn't have sea turtles, which is sad. But I'm okay. It smells so good. It's, um, what is it called? It's a seahorse. It's a seahorse. It's, it is a blue one and a purple. Oh, a lavender purple, which is one of my favorite colors. Red. And we have another one of my favorite colors, which was, which was white. And then a light blue sea, sea light. It was nice. The hotel was also really nice there. Um, cold. It was cold there when I woke up. But it was just so nice. We always we woke up at eight, only the start of day, so we have a, you know, full day to just be in Gettysburg. The best other part was that we went to cemeteries. So yeah, I'm gonna put them all in this bag. Actually, you know what? Why not? I'll show you guys my musical wrap on. This one I think was orange, something like orange cream or something. It was. It smells kind of weird. It's three three. I remember this one. This was vanilla bean, which was the best. Oh, no, no, this was warm sugar. Yeah, this was the warm sugar one, which I like. Oh, I just grabbed me. And then I'm pretty sure this one was lavender. It smells exactly like lavender, which is the same thing I like. And then I don't know what this one smells like. Does it say? Nope. And if you guys do, you guys can check out Surprise Soap Company, which was really good. And the lady there was really sweet. I don't know if they change. They probably do change ladies every time. But it was just really nice there. I love St. Uh, Augustine. I just keep having St. Augustine stuck in my head. It was also really good. But I wasn't really crying as much. I did get creeped out sometimes. Oh, and guys, the first time before we went to our hotel, when we were driving on Thursday, when we were driving to our hotel, we went to go get dinner. We went to the Irish pub, which was so great. You want to know why? Because they literally had chips. Chips. Oh my god. I, I'm just so, I'm just so in love with this combo. For any of you guys who live in like, who are Irish, British, I don't know what else countries do this, but chips and curry. <sighs> I literally, the curry there was so good. It's better than the curry we have here in Michigan. It's so good. Like, it was so good. And actually, yes, it did have flavor. It had such great flavor. Spicy, which I love spicy food, which it was just such a great trip that I actually kind of cried in the car. When we were leaving, I'm actually about to tear up now. Whoa. When we were in the car, I was crying because I didn't want to leave this hotel, which, yes, the hotel, the pool was covered with bugs. Well, Sometimes there's bugs. There was actually um, a, a cricket by the pool, but the water was beautiful. It got cold first, but if you swim around, if it, when you're swimming around, it felt great. My skin has not felt this smooth in two days. It has not felt so smooth. And like 
cool thing guys if you guys really are a big fan of swimming and like sea salt water you like me if you guys don't really like coralline as well but if you do swim in coralline it does make your face really smooth after sometimes it just depends sometimes it makes your hair very frizzy and naughty um but i'm okay with that because so good i love it also guys hey yeah i will really do um so yeah we ate at ruby tuesday today which reminds me to in uh pennsylvania because there was actually one there guys on the same night of when we first just got to the hotel for dinner of course we got more dinner we got the best pizza ever it was so good the pepperoni on it i'm gonna say guys if you guys ever go to say uh say august why am i saying say augustine i'll talk about say augustine in another video but i just have to say that it was the best trip ever to go to pennsylvania gettysburg People who live in Gettysburg, you guys are so lucky. Like, I want to live there. Like, I really want to live there. Probably gonna be like, no, well, you don't want to live there. You just, you, you just don't want to live there. I want to live there. I, it's just so beautiful and like, it's just, it's nice. I love the history in Michigan. You're probably like, well, it has history too. We should be happy about that. No. I'm sorry, but I can't. Michigan, I've been living in Michigan for too long that I started to get bored. Which is other people's I problem I, up there where they always lived their whole entire life. I've always lived in Michigan my whole entire life and only go to England probably like twice a year. And honestly, that's not enough for me because I've only been there probably a good almost 30 times. I've been to England. It just depends how many times. Yeah. Anyway. So, guys. I just want to tell you. My amazing adventure. Maybe I'll do another video tonight. Maybe not. But, guys. I'll see you guys. Probably today. Tonight. Sometime tonight. Or tomorrow. You guys might see a few YouTube shorts. Uh, that's because I get bored sometimes at night. So, yeah. Okay, guys. I'm probably gonna cry now. Okay, bye guys.